Hello everyone, welcome to anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are discussing about how to use SAP Analytics Cloud BI feature. In the last set of videos, we have discussed how to create your first story on acquired data model, which is created in SAP Analytics Cloud. In this video, we will look at how to create a time series chart with the data which is changing over the time. So let's get started and switch over to our system. If you've not seen my previous videos, I would encourage you to click on the I button above to switch over to the playlist where we have all the videos for you in the right sequence. If you would like to attend complete end-to-end -end training on SAP Analytics Cloud, feel free to subscribe our SAP SAC course on anubavtrainings.com. So let's switch over to our VA story. And now I would like to add a time series chart over here. So I will just hit the plus button. And now we will switch over to a trend analysis time series chart to depict my time series data. And this time I will also go ahead and add a measure. And this is probably the number of cases. And then of course, since it's a time series, I have to also add a time axis. So we'll go ahead and add a time axis. And you would see it is now projecting the number of cases over uh, over the entire time time period. You can also probably go back and edit, edit an additional filter to um, to filter the number of records for a given year or a given month. For example, I would also need the data only for 2020. And uh, you can see now the time series chart is showing you the data for only 2020. Now there's an amazing feature what SAP Analytics Cloud offers you with the time series chart is you can also add an automatic forecasting. So you can click on this nice little tiny more action button and switch to add forecast and you can choose different algorithm for forecasting or you can also say choose the best one according to the data set what we have. And once you press on the button in about a couple of seconds, you would see here an automatic forecasting will be performed by the system and you would see the forecasting for the number of cases for the next course of one month will be available as part of the time series chart. You, you can see, there you go. So it's also showing you the forecasted numbers. Of course, if you're not so happy with the numbers, you can also change over the algorithm. So this is the way SAP Analytics Cloud bringing machine learning to the people who are not having too much of programming experience or either an experience on detailed algorithms. Also, we have drill down capability and filtering capabilities here, which you can use to um, basically visualize the data on monthly or quarterly basis. And you can also apply more filters as well as you can drill down on the data based on hierarchy level. So that's about uh, the time series chart, which we have it with SAP Analytics Cloud. So I hope you enjoyed this video with us. Please feel free to subscribe our course on SAP Analytics Cloud and we will be learning more use cases and detailed training as part of our video course on SAP Analytics Cloud at anubavtrainings.com and I will see you in the next video.